outside of the DNC, um, reading the names of all of the children who have been martyred in Gaza. Actually, we can't read all of the names of the children who have been martyred in Gaza because it would take us days. We've been reading the names and demanding from the delegates and from other members, like people participating in the DNC, that they demand a permanent ceasefire and an arms embargo now. There's a genocide unfolding in Gaza that the U.S. is not just complicit in, that the U.S. is an active participant in. We are sending weapons, we are sending funds to, to kill innocent children in Gaza. It's time for this to stop. We say we don't want this blood on our hands. It's time for this to stop and we're out here to demand that. We've had folks who have been supportive, some hecklers. There's always people who are, you know, in support of a genocide apparently, but we have folks who've been supportive and we've been conveying our message out here, bringing, really bringing it to people, the fact that these are children with names, with lives, with stories who are being killed by our weapons and by our tax dollars and our officials. If us naming the names of children that, whose blood is on our hands, if that bothers these people, good, it should. It should bother them so much that they demand an end to this genocide. They, they want to turn away. They can't turn away. The blood is on their hands whether they turn away from us or not. And it's time for everyone here to stand up and take a very, to make a very clear stand and say, we don't want this blood on the, our hands. This genocide needs to end. Kamala Harris, Tim, whoever it is, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, all of them have this, the genocide is on their hands. They are active participants in it. And it's time for it to stop. The Democratic Party needs to stop stop funding this, needs to stop supporting this, because these are these are children just like our children here. These are people just like our people here. They have lives, they have names, they have hopes, they have dreams, and that's what we've been trying to bring to this audience today.